All right, so women's uh, flyweight division. Uh, so Molly Meeple McCann versus Lara Procopio. I believe that's how you say it. Uh, couldn't find too much tape on t- tape on Lara, but um, this is just what I gathered from what I saw. Uh, so she she has an all right jab. Like it was um, it was landing a lot against Cal Rosa, who doesn't move her head very much, but uh, still. Um, it's, it wasn't a bad jab, uh, and was, yeah, learned quite a lot. So, overall, though, she's pretty wild on the feet. Uh, she'll, like, look to clinch up if her opponents are kind of landing on her with success and they start, uh, throwing combos and stuff. Uh, but for most part, couldn't find too much about her striking, not gonna lie. The only evidence I saw of it really was in the, uh, Carol Rosa fight. Uh, so, Molly McCann, she comes in with that you know, British point fighter style. Um, so you know what I'm talking about, like, you know, Darren Till, Leon Edwards, uh, Nathaniel Wood, I guess. Um, like, they aren't the most devastating punches, but, like, um, they're quite accurate. They have good movement. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they're, they're not devastating finishes. Uh, and she... Yeah, has that same kind of style. Uh, so her best punch is probably a left hook. Uh, gets, has a lot of success with it in close, in close distance. Uh, she'll pretty much just look to it land either a, like a naked left hook or just land a combo in the pocket, pretty much where she wants the fight to be. Uh, and then after she's landed her offense, she'll just exit the pocket. And that's pretty much what Molly McCann does for the most part. Uh, when her, opponent is pressuring her, she'll land the check left hook. Uh, when she steps, like a, takes a big step in to the left, uh, you know the Lex, le, uh, you know the left hook's coming up because uh, she's, you know, obviously loading on that left leg. Uh, so pretty much she'll use exaggerated movement on her rolls or weaves or whatever you want to call it, um, and head movement as well uh, when striking. So that could you know, potentially leads like head kicks, knees being landed, uh, cause she will roll, um, like how a boxer would. Um, so pretty much go on like, you know, 90 degrees, pretty much give or take around 20 degrees. But, um, yeah, it's, it's quite dangerous in like MMA to do that kind of stuff. She hasn't been punished for it yet, but, um, it's, yeah, she's just got to watch out for that. Uh, so the grappling, uh, for Molly McCann, you know, her tape guns are not, not a sight for sore eyes. Well, there are, whatever the saying is, they're a sight for sore eyes. Uh, they are not great, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, for Pocopio, uh, she, from what I saw, she didn't mind being on her back. Uh, on her back, she seems pretty comfortable. Throw up arm bars, omoplatas, stuff like that. Uh, she will pull guard, so I'm guessing she's like, uh, more of a BJJ player. Uh, and that's got no success on the regional scene, but in the UFC, that's probably not gonna give her too much success. Uh, if I'm being honest, like, you know, what's the history on that? Like, people who play guard, like, like, what's their win, uh, win, <laughs> what's their win rate, uh, in the UFC? Like, people who play guard instead of defending takedowns or, um, you know, attempting takedowns of their own. Uh, she will jump guillotine if the opponent, like, if their posture's broken or, you know, their neck's just sticking out in general. Uh, which, you know, Molly could do, I think. Or oh, she get caught by the rear naked choke. Like, she just got dominated by Jillian Robertson, so... Um, yeah, obviously, uh, what's her name? Procopio, she wants to get this fight to the mat. Uh, for Molly, her pass to victory, or, sorry, the way she wins, uh, she's got pretty good boxing defense, you know, for women's MMA who... Like, boxing in MMA isn't evolved as much, but uh, she, yeah, for the weight class, especially, um, she's got very good boxing defense compared to, say, other fighters in the weight class. Uh, She's very tough, uh, gritty, she'll grind uh, a fight to a decision, like, she doesn't, uh, she knows what to do to win a fight, Uh, she'll, yeah, she'll get down dirty for the dub. Uh, She's got decent cardio, she's um, yeah, she's got good cardio, like, you know, not amazing, but she, uh, does well at pushing through fatigue and still keeping the volume up. 
Uh, for Procopio, she has good cardio too. Like, you know, from what I saw, she had a lot of volume in the Carol Rosa fight and she didn't seem to get tired that much and she was landing while well, she was throwing a lot of volume. Uh, she's definitely, she's definitely game. Uh, like, she just was standing in front of Carol Rosa, who's obviously, like, much bigger. Uh, and she was just kind of taking her shots and trying to throw combos back. It was, yeah, really admired her courage in that fight. How these guys lose, uh, we'll stay with Procopio. Like, her takedowns aren't very good. She has poor technique with them. Uh, yeah, just kind of tries to muscle them down, really. Uh, she shoots from too far away. Doesn't set up the takedowns, so, yeah, her... Entries definitely need work. She'll spend long time. Uh, she'll spend long periods of time on her back. Isn't great. Like if you go into decision, just of course. Uh, so she doesn't check leg kicks as well. Carol Rosa was landing a few leg kicks on her. She's very hittable. She's got predictable movement and uh, pretty much poor striking defense as a whole, which just makes her hittable. Uh, for Molly, she can be pressured to the fence and then teed off on. Uh, or just, you know, take away her movement, which is one of her, you know, greatest weapons. She's got poor takedown defense. She initiates clinch and grappling exchanges when she probably shouldn't. Like, she'll start the clinch. I think she started the clinch with Jillian Robertson. Or, yeah, I can't remember, but she, she'll she do it, like, she, I don't know why she does it. It's just a habit, I guess. Just natural instinct to reach out and grab. But, like, her game, um, with her game, like, her... Uh, and her strength, she probably shouldn't be doing that in fights. Uh, and pretty much just her clinch offense and defense and just the her clinch game as a whole probably needs work. Uh, yeah, she can get controlled in the clinch. She can get take like taken down the clinch. She doesn't really throw much offense in the clinch. Yeah. Um, but yeah, pass the victory for these guys. Uh, for Molly, just keep the fight at your range, in and out. Uh, you know, make it a boxing match. Don't fight at range where you know you can just throw kicks and stuff you know make it you know get in the pocket uh start landing your shots where you're more comfortable don't clinch uh throw a few leg kicks uh if you're in top position and she pulls guard just be vigilant just don't do anything crazy just stay in guard land a few short shots but um probably i just i just stand up if i was you um just because i believe you have a big advantage on the feet uh, whereas you don't on the ground, even if you're on top position. Uh, for Pacopio, uh, she, on the feet, she can really, you know, pressure uh, Molly, as, you know, she isn't afraid to get hit, so I wouldn't mind her pressuring Molly, try to get her on the fence. Uh, then once you get her on the fence, just start clinching, create scrambles, uh, just go for trips, you know, maybe even pull guard, go for a leg lock in the clinch, something like that, something crazy. Um, and yeah, so if Molly's going to throw that spinning back fist, obviously just try and take her down, maybe trip her, uh, get in the clinch at least, just try to use her momentum to get her down. Uh, so how I see this one going, uh, when I looked at it, um, cause yeah, I, I saw the line was pretty wide. Uh, I didn't think McCann should be that big of a favorite against anyone really. Uh, but then... I saw Procopio on tape, and I wasn't very impressed with her, and then I was like, probably the line is fair enough. Uh, but yeah, it's it's hard to bet Molly McCann at, you know, such juiced odds, because, she, like, her style just makes fights close, and especially Procopio is going to be, she's not going to slow down, she's probably going to stay in the same range as Molly, probably landing a few shots herself. Uh, so, yeah, I think the line's a bit too wide, uh, right now, I think it's like 150 or whatever, but yeah, uh, so she's, um, Procopio, in her one fight that I saw in the UFC, uh, she seems to have improved a bit from the regional scene, because, yeah, her regional tape was not good at all, uh, but yeah, my opinion, like, Molly's probably getting a similar matchup to the Cachoeira uh, fight, which she, you know, had a lot of success in, I kind of expect Molly to win, uh, on the feet here, and just avoid the grappling as a whole, uh, probably just point fight her way to like a 30-27. Uh, so yeah, prediction, Molly by decision. And like 150, like right now, probably too high. Uh, just, I'd probably wait till the decision line comes out. And if it's like, uh, if it's like even money or 190, probably ju I'd jump on that, probably a unit or two. Because yeah, I think she wins the fight on the feet and yeah, she's probably not going to finish Procopio. She seems pretty tough.